Welcome back to Raising Autism, and today we are going to be talking about autism and goal stimming. So one of our subscribers did mention that they wanted us to speak about stimming and what our daughter does for stimming. So we're gonna go ahead and go over that with you guys. But before we do that, I kind of wanted Anthony to read a little area here that we're reading from uh, Very Wealth Health. Um, and I'll go ahead and tag them down below that way you guys can read the whole article on it. But basically this is what stimming, why um, autistic children stim. Yeah, so this one is when do autistic people stim and it is people with autism may stim because they are excited happy anxious overwhelmed or because it feels comforting under stressful circumstances they may stim for long periods of time yes and they could also be stimming as well if they're overwhelmed or overstimulated so if there's bright lights if there's loud noises and things like that it could also cause them to stim as well so actually while I was reviewing this article, I didn't know this, but for us, for neurotypicals, basically there is stimming also, but it's less noticeable than for kids with autism. Like I was telling Anthony when I was reading this article, I had no clue that when you're doing this, like twirling your hair, that's a sign of stim because you're like nervous or you're feeling anxious and you're stimming or when you're tapping your um, pen, and you're also moving your legs, that's also a part of stemming. So that was really weird for me to read that. I didn't know that that was part of stemming, but I guess because like when you're doing that too much, people catch it and they're like, hey, stop, then you stop. But for kids with autism or adults with autism, it's harder for yeah, them to they, stop. It, says, it actually says right here, it says people with autism, however, may not be aware of and responsive to others reaction to their stimming so they're not even um, they're doing it so regularly they, they're not even paying attention to, to people looking at them they, yeah. they you know they're just doing it um, there se uh, there seems to be circumstances in which some people with autism are not able to control their stems or find it extremely stressful and difficult to do so yeah so that's it's definitely different than us like if let's say I'm balancing my leg Anthony's getting annoyed and he's like hey stop if you do that to Emma she's not gonna stop because right. she needs to keep doing it It'd because be she's hard. feeling very like stressed or happy or overwhelmed whatever it is but another thing I wanted to talk about is the types of stims and for the types of stims it's basically ver it could be a verbal stim and it could also be a basically physical is that what you would say physical stim when you're like flapping or twirling or doing the side to side um, and then we're gonna go ahead and get into what Emma does and Emma used to do a lot of twirling I guess we're not twirling spins yeah well I mean she used to yeah twirling, she still spins, does whatever. spins but not as much as she used to yeah yeah and she runs in circles a lot but mm -hmm. I don't I don't know if I would count that it is. I mean, it is. Why well, I used to do that all the time. I mean, I think she just has so much energy she needs to get it out. Yeah. So I think that is part of her stimming. And then also she she never really flapped. She flapped about a couple of times here and there when she was younger. So that's something that she didn't do. But she did do um, the rocking back and forth. She still kind of does sometimes, but not really. Yeah, she also... Um, will laugh randomly so so for no reason she'll just start laughing well when she's in a good mood she'll just start laughing uh for nothing i mean because she just feels good i guess but i think that <laughs> might be part of her stimming because there's nothing going on that is causing her to laugh and she's laughing so i think that that is part of her stimming as well yeah and then for most of it right now that we've noticed it's a lot of verbal stimming it's not um, I mean, she does have that, you know, the rocking a little bit here and there, but it's mostly verbal. Like she's been singing her ABCs when she's frustrated, um, when she's overwhelmed, when she's tired, yeah. when she's happy. So she does her ABCs like a verbal loud. And then she also does a lot of noises, like little stimmy noises over and over. Um, so it's a lot of verbal and it's getting more intense, I, I think, with yeah. the verbal stimming. Yeah, so it says people with autism um, stem to help themselves to manage anxiety, fear, anger, excitement, anticipation, and other strong emotions. They also stem to help themselves handle 
overwhelming sensory input. Too much noise, light, heat, etc. And that is the case with Emma. Mm -hmm. So randomly, whether we take her to the pool or we take her out somewhere, she'll shove her face into our neck or just... I don't know if she's trying to... I think she's almost trying to block out light because if we're not holding her, she'll go like this. Yeah, she gets she really overwhelmed with the light. She just wants to hide her... Yeah. I, I'm not sure if it's light, noise, just the the situation. But... And if we don't let her uh, put her face in our neck, like she just shows her head right here, she freaks out. She mm -hmm. gets really, really upset, really upset if we yeah. don't let her do that. She'll start doing she her ABCs really tight. and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. So it's a lot of um, that type of, of stimming that she has, but it could be very different for a lot of um, children. Also another thing for other kids with autism, they can have other type of stims such as like hurtful stims that they can harm themselves. And that's like when they're hitting their head or biting and things like that um, that could be harmful for them as well as some of them have very loud noises where it could be scary for other people around. Um, Emma doesn't have that. Who knows though, because it can always change with, with yeah. kids with autism. Their stems can change constantly, and we definitely notice that with Emma because she used to do more of the other rocking or stuff like that, and now it's verbal. So who knows what's gonna happen later in the future, but um, I've also been reading as F, if we should be stopping her stims and I think since they're not harmful we don't really care to stop her stims we don't mind them we don't yeah I don't see how stopping uh, stimming would be beneficial in any way yeah, I mean but what so people won't look they do say for like if you're going to school sometimes you might have to like control it a little bit more and stuff like that but I think that comes with time and as I think they get that older depends too. on the specific stim as yeah well. that, that also depends but um, they do say, of course, if it's harmful stimming, like you're hurting right, yourself yeah. and stuff like that, of course, that would be something that you would want to treat because you don't want your child to har harm themselves. And um, this little short video was just to basically give you guys information of what we've been learning. We're not experts. We don't know everything. We're learning just like you guys are learning of our kids. And I feel like we're always going to keep learning because our kids are changing and they're getting older. And there's going to be new challenges for that. So this is just what we know now. Who knows? Maybe in another month or two, we'll, we'll know more and we'll post something different. But yeah. that's what Emma does. And that's what we know about stimming so far. So I hope that that helped you guys a little bit. And sorry if our printer's going off over here. But did you want to add anything before we let go? No. And that's it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions or if you guys want to help other people that are actually wanting more information about stimming you guys can leave a comment down below on anything that your child does that way they can read the comments and see if they have any same tips okay have a great day bye, bye.